The world of software engineering used to be easy. Before, in our golden hours, we were kings. We'd use our Logitech mouse, the brush of creativity, for navigating our code bases. Clicking on menu items felt like exploring new universes as we tried to keep hover menus with three nested layers open. One false move would collapse it all, but that's what made us better. We were masters of the click drag, our super weapon to move glyphs from one edge of our page to the other. Right click copy, right click paste, right click cut. Menu actions as sweet as nectar soon to be relics of a post-mortem retrospective. But the times have changed. They expect to learn shortcuts. They expect us to learn Vim motions. Instead of shipping value to users, they demand we spend weeks configuring Vim RC files. Plugins, extensions, harpoons, RC files. Software engineering, once the beacon of light leading us to happiness, has now turned into a dark path of min-max for productivity. What we used to do in a simple mouse wheel scroll, we are now expected to type the line number plus GG. 5YY to copy five lines. It's madness, I know, but we can't stop it. There are armies of Vimmers behind every cubicle. They sit and wait for the commands of their fearless leaders, Tiege and Prime. People will deny this cabal. They always will. They'll say, just use what works for you. But they know the senior engineers are laughing at us behind our backs as they watch us right-click and left-click copy. We can't resist. It's futile. Vs code isn't cool enough. It never was. I don't know how much longer I'll last. At my company, they've already collected the mice in the office. I've heard rumors they've held a ritualistic Neo-Vim gathering and burned them in a circle. I wouldn't dare to ask, but I wouldn't doubt that rumor. I've written a guidebook for how to resist their efforts. From my studies, I've found they act similar to vegans always asserting their editor of choice without even being asked. Their strategies work, so I don't think there is much we can do. To any mouse or trackpad warriors left, heed my warnings. They will find you. I hear their first attempt to find us was by installing spyware to hack into microphones to listen for mouse clicks. I hear it was called Operation CrowdStrike, but they managed to cover up that failed ops as a DevOps engineer sucking at his job. Sorry, I must go now. The email came in from my boss, and it doesn't look good. His signature says Neo Vim, by the way, 